Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I've got something pretty exciting to show you. We've got the brand new Golden Technologies Companion 4-Wheel. I'm going to show you how to take it out of the box and assemble it for the first time. But like always, before we get started, I want to tell you about our free product catalog. It's got discount codes in it and our latest products. It's absolutely free. If you want a copy, just go to our website, www.mobilitydirect.com. Click on the green button that says free catalog at the top of every page. Fill out that simple short form that you're seeing on the screen now, and you'll get one in the mail within about two weeks tops. Also want to tell you that at the end of this video, I'm going to teach you how to enter our monthly giveaway. Like the last few winners you're seeing on the screen now, you could win a free mobility product. All you have to do is stay tuned to the end so you can learn how to join that monthly giveaway. You're not going to want to miss out on that. Got to play to win. So stay tuned to the end. Let's get started here. You're really not going to need much. We're going to start off with a box cutter. There's some pallet straps. I'm going to cut them. You don't really need to nick any tape, it's stapled shut. So just be careful with the staples because they are sharp. And upon opening the box, you're gonna notice, well, we, I'll be honest with you, we kind of opened it a little bit first to kind of take a look at this beautiful scooter. And what you're gonna see is there is a safety flag. It comes with every Golden Technology scooter for free. It's just like a high visibility flag so that you don't lose yourself at the grocery store and your wife's wondering, your husband's wondering where you went. You can find yourself pretty easily that way. So we've got it in the color blue and it's all packaged up pretty much fully assembled. There's really nothing to it here. There is a cover on the seat post. It's a heavy duty seat post right there. All right, so at this point, um, I do wanna go ahead and raise up the tiller assembly known as the handlebar assembly. I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna peel back the bubble wrap to show you the handle. So here's the handle. This handle, if you depress it, it's gonna unlock the tiller and you can bring it up just like this, okay? And at this point, I'm just gonna start kind of undressing it a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and take out the box down here that's sitting on top of the floorboard. And there's some parts in here which are displayed on the box itself. So you've got the customer packet with the user manual, the keys, the seat belt, the floor label, the mirrors, and the charger. You've got a couple of other things in here, so we'll show you what's all in there in just a bit. All right, now, one thing I'm gonna do before I cut the box, by the way, yes, you can cut the box, but you should keep the packaging for a total of 30 days because we offer 30-day returns. So what I just did is removed the inner wall, if you will, There's a, so it's double cardboard padded. We wanna remove that inner casing of cardboard and then basically you can remove the entire box. It's just gonna lift right up. I think there might be a little bit of tape on the backside here holding it, but essentially you should be able to just lift this up and out of the way. There we go. So this is a really big box. You're gonna need a lot of room to get this job done, folks. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the way and we'll come right back with you. All right, folks, so I'm gonna go ahead and start unwrapping the scooter. Nothing to this here, you could just tear it apart. Do wanna also mention that if you're interested in this scooter, we are offering a limited time discount. Like always, you get tax-free sales, free shipping. And if you call our non-commissioned sales experts and ask them for a discount code, they'll be happy to give you one. This again is the Companion by Golden Technologies one of my favorite brands. They offer the best warranty out of any manufacturer. They have the best battery warranty and you get a one year in-home repair contract with your purchase. So if something goes wrong within the first year, you don't even need to leave your home. We've got a nation nationwide network of technicians that will come to your home and replace the warranty approved parts. You don't have to go anywhere. Pretty awesome stuff, guys. All right, folks, so at this point, to get it off of the platform, I think the easiest way to do it would be to roll it off. And in the back here, there's a yellow lever, which we're gonna show you. You wanna turn the brakes off. <laughs> Sorry, our cameraman just stepped on some bubble wrap there, but it's okay, uh, we're just doing what we can here. So if you move this yellow lever back, you're disengaging the automatic brakes. 
It's known as the freewheel lever, AKA it's in neutral mode now. Now I can kind of just roll it off the box. Now, depending on what kind of floor you have, our floor is pretty darn slippery. You may not be able to roll it because as you pull it, it's not gonna really roll. So you could just kind of shimmy it off to the side from the front and the back until it's completely off. I know it's not the cleanest way, but at the end of the day, it works. And if you have two people, then obviously it'd be a lot easier. You could just pick, the, pick it up from the handle on the front there, and there's a handle on the back as well. So if you can see, we'll come up with the camera. Right here, this is a part of the frame. So you can grab right there and it's not gonna break anything. Also on the back, you've got a big heavy duty handle as well. So you can feel free to pick up and you know lift the full weight of the scooter from the front and the back. We're gonna go ahead and clean up the set and we'll be right back with you to continue. All right, folks, so we do have a couple of separate boxes here. This big one has the seat in it. Now, the basket did come in a separate box. We already took it out, but it's pretty straightforward. Just open the box and this basket's gonna come in inside of one box. And the basket attaches to the front side of the steering column pretty, pretty easily. There's three holes here, three hooks here. Line up the holes with the hooks, push back a little bit until they're in and then push down and it'll kind of just lock into place. There's nothing to it. Removing it is just as easy. All right, folks, now the next step before we get any further, we need to remove this cover and connect the batteries. Now there's two little hand screws here. You could use a Phillips head screwdriver, but you really don't need to, they're hand screws. And I'm just loosening them up enough to where the shroud cover is gonna become disconnected. This whole body panel, what we call a shroud panel, needs to come off. Then we can expose the batteries. And we're gonna show you more than just the batteries. You can see the motor, you can see a lot. Kind of give it a little wiggle. Be careful on the way up. Clear that seat post through the circle hole there. And look at that, we've got a nice motor here. We've got nice clean wiring job. That speaks volumes to the pride and passion they have in building um, their build quality. You know, when you see clean wires like this, you know it's a well-built machine. By the way, you've got some nice suspension coils in there that you can see. See that suspension right there is gonna give you a really smooth ride. So let's go ahead and connect these batteries because as you can see, they are not connected. And there's some color-coded ports here. There's really no wrong way to do this, folks. So just slide your connectors in, black goes to black, red goes to red, and now your batteries are connected. If you don't have your batteries connected, well, you've got no power, you've got no way to move. So that's a really important step. So let's go ahead and put this cover back on. Of course, you want to put it on the right way, not like I did. And this is the right way here with the screws in the back. Now, there are some teeth here that you're going to see that need to slide into those little long rectangular slits. And you may just need to kind of do a little wiggle, do the wiggle and the shimmy until they fall into place. Now, this is my first time doing this, folks. It's a brand new machine, brand new model. So forgive me if I'm also struggling a little bit to figure out how this uh, shroud cover goes into place. Now, there we go. So once it's kind of screwed in, you kind of want to push down a little bit, not too rough, until they click into place, okay? They're going to snap right in. And then you, figure, you finish screwing in the uh, hand screws in the back. And I kind of see that... You know, the outside part of the, the blue meeting the black there has a little bit of a gap. So you kind of want to make sure you tighten them down enough to where that gap kind of starts to disappear a little bit. It's good to go at this point. We can continue with putting the seat on. So let's go ahead and get the seat out of the box next. Now, I don't recommend using a knife. Um, I've been doing this for a long time, so I kind of developed my own technique. I kind of just go sideways. I don't want to cut the seat. So you could just technically rip the tape. It's not really tough, the tape, but um, we're gonna go ahead and get the seat out now. And I just wanted to show you here the unboxing of the seat. So the seat is a folding seat. All right, now before I put the seat in, I actually want to take the time to tell you, you can adjust the seat height. So this seat post can go up and down. You would need to remove this nut 
and this bolt. You'd need a hex key for this side and a socket or a monkey wrench on this side. Um, you could take it out, the sleeve's gonna come up and out, and you'll notice that there's three holes in this silver seat post set at different height increments. And that's how you adjust the height of the seat by simply raising this seat post up and down. And we'll throw a little picture on the, on the uh, screen now for you to see. But basically, it's pretty easy. You just need a couple of tools to do that. So if you feel like the seat's not high enough, you can adjust the seat height. Now, when you're putting the seat on, you need to take this cover off of the male connection point here. That is the male connection point. That's the female. Line it up, drop it in, level out the seat, and it's gonna click into place. Really nice seat here. Look at that diamond stitched pattern there. Super comfortable. There are some seat options that you can choose from when you're checking out on our website. I'm gonna grab the armrests now, which are height adjustable and width adjustable, and they flip up, they're also removable. And to put them in, it's pretty easy. We'll walk you through that. That's why I love Golden products. They make them so easy to work with. So on the back of the seat, by the way, I'm rotating it with this lever. It rotates 360 degrees. So if you wanna sit at a dinner table, you can rotate the seat. You'll have nothing in front of you like the handlebar assembly. You'll have the most comfortable seat in the house. So here on the other side, uh, or there's another lever too, right here. This lever, okay, I'm gonna fa face the seat forward now, but I'm gonna show you with that lever, you can slide the seat forward and back. Okay, so you've got a bunch of different comfort adjustment positions to work with. Now, on the back of the seat, this is how you install the armrest. You've got the sleeve and the rail for the armrest. Loosen up this knob, slide the seat in, set it however wide you want it. You can adjust the width by pulling it out or bringing it in. And I'm gonna bring it into about right here and then tighten this knob. Pretty easy to do, nothing to it. Same thing with the height adjust. You can loosen this up and adjust the height. Tighten it back up when you have it at the desired height. And there you go. You have the seat armrest adjusted to your desired position. All right, I'm gonna re rotate it all the way and install the second armrest the same way. Nothing to it, folks. All right, good to go. Like I said, the armrests do flip up. The seat backrest folds. There's a nice little pouch there with a slit for the safety flag to fall right into. Awesome stuff, super easy to install. All right, so next step, we've got that special box that says parts inside. It's time to open up this box. Feels like Christmas morning or Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Let's see here. So opening the box, oh, there's not, not a lot in there. I thought there'd be more with all those different check marks. So we've got the user manual. All right, guys, so the user manual is overlooked all the time. Super important, read the whole thing in its entirety. It's gonna teach you so much. You're gonna know how to troubleshoot it. It has diagnostic beep codes that tell you what's going on if it's not working. It's gonna save you a ton of time. You don't need to call a technician most of the time. It's a very simple to use product, very durable. If something's wrong, it's most likely operator error most of the time and the user manual has a troubleshooting guide. So read the whole thing, okay? You also have your charger, which is right here. And this is a really important step here. When you first get your unit, you need to charge it for 12 hours, okay? And charging it is pretty straightforward. This works like uh, any kind of charger for, you know, big electronic devices you have. Uh, this little transformer box that plugs into the wall. It's gonna take 110 to 115 volts from the wall outlet. So any standard wall outlet, as long as you're not, you know, traveling in Europe where it's 240 volts, you would need a travel adapter. But you plug this into a standard household outlet in the United States and you shouldn't have a problem. And then when you plug it in, the power light's gonna turn on. When you plug this end into the scooter, the charge light's gonna turn on, and when it's fully charged, it'll turn from red to green. And we're gonna show you how that works. All right, so I just plugged it into the wall. As you can see, the power light is red. Here is the 
three pin barrel connector known as an XLR connector. And we're gonna plug this end into the charging port right here. So line up the three pins with the three holes and it should just plug in. You might have to rotate it a little bit and there we go. So now that it's plugged into the charging port, you see this charge light is red. Leave it in for 12 hours and then it'll turn green indicating that it's fully charged. It's really important that you do that guys. There's even a big tag here that says important. Charge immediately after purchase for 12 hours. If you don't do that, you're gonna void the warranty on your batteries, guys. They, there are tools to test your batteries to see if they've been broken in properly. So if your batteries don't work because you didn't charge it initially, that's gonna be a problem. Make sure you break it in by charging it for 12 hours. And the first couple of times that you use it, probably the first four or five times, you're not gonna get the full range that it's rated for it's gonna need to break in. So after a few trips, you should start to get that extended range that it's rated for. All right, so we've got another box here. I'm just gonna leave it charging for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box, which pretty sure it's a mirror assembly. And let's go ahead and see what we can do as far as installing the mirrors. Looks like these mirrors come with brackets that attach to the tiller, Delta tiller. Yes, in fact, that's exactly what it is. So what we're gonna have to do is take the bracket, essentially, it opens up, there's a countersunk nut in there, and this is gonna go in through the top and tighten up on that nut. So there's a nut here as well. You're gonna wanna bring that up as much as you can, and then you'll lower it once it's installed into the bracket. So let's do that here. All right, so the clamp style bracket opens up. You wanna open it up. You wanna hug it around this part of the tiller handle assembly because you see how it's a little bit thinner here? Out here, the, the handle is a lot wider and it won't be able to close all the way around the handle unless it's right here where it's a little thinner. So you wanna kinda of put it into a position where it's gonna be nice and straight. All right, by the way, folks, once you got that clamp ready to go, make sure you check the mirror because there actually is a little label that says L for left mirror, which is actually awesome because most manufacturers do not do that. And it can be extremely frustrating to try and figure out which one goes where. So you see that L sign right there? That's the left mirror. So we're gonna install this on the left side and thread it through. Be honest, I was about to mount the right mirror on the right side and I would have had to figure out the hard way that it was not the right mirror. But I looked and I saw, hey, look, there's a little indicator that says left. Golden Technologies actually cares enough to put a little label there. Thanks, guys. You've saved me about five minutes of frustration. Well, I can't tell you with all the other models out there, you can't tell. These mirrors look identical. And you put that mirror on and it just doesn't sit right. You're like, oh, man, I got to unscrew it and put the new one on. So, hey, we're good to go. So you might have to, like... The mirror was like this when we first got it, so you can kind of rotate it up, down, you know, it, it flips around in all different directions. Pretty nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other side, and we'll be right back with you. All right, folks, we are just about at the finish line. How exciting. So let's go ahead and connect the bottom half of the safety flag to the top half. There's really nothing to it. It's just a little plastic piece there that is used to break it down for packaging and shipping to not make it so long. It's pretty long, pretty tall, I should say. So there's a stitching here on the back pouch and there's two stitching lines there and that's just basically used to secure your safety flag. It's a complimentary accessory that comes with every Golden Technology scooter. By the way, you can also put a rear shopping basket here uh, with this cap, you have to remove it, but that I highly recommend getting you can get a safety, uh, I'm sorry, you can get um, any universal accessories that fit in this one inch receiver here, like a shopping basket, which I'll throw on the screen for a second. We take these things shopping all the time. You can put a big 24 pack of water, a couple groceries, and you can put an oxygen tank holder, walker holder, crutch holder, cane holder. There's tons of universal accessories that are offered on our website. Give us a call if you wanna learn more about those. Now, while I'm here, I do wanna tell you, we need to put the brake 
back into the drive mode, AKA engage the brake. So let's push that yellow lever forward. Otherwise, the scooter's not gonna work when you turn it on with the key. All right, folks, so we are pretty much at the finish line. There's a nice little envelope in that box that has all the parts in it, and it's labeled with huge letters. So you really can't mess this up, guys. If you can't guess what's in here already, I'll tell you, keys. So we get the keys out. You got two sets of keys, okay? This may be common sense for some folks, but do yourself a favor. Take one of these keys off the key ring and put it somewhere safe. If you lose the entire set, you're screwed. There's no point in having a spare duplicate key if it's attached to the same key ring. All right, I know, common sense for some people. So let's plug this in and turn the key ignition on. Key ignition's right here. Got a nice little display here that's not just a simple battery meter, so I'm pretty uh, intrigued. Oh, look at that. So we've got 25.7 volts, 100% capacity, although I'm not gonna be tempted to ride it because you're not supposed to charge it for 12 hours, folks, okay? We're gonna have a separate in-depth review video, so if you wanna learn all about that, uh, this product, including specs, how it handles off-road, Make sure you subscribe and we'll have that video out soon. So we're just gonna talk about what's here. You've got the speed control knob, so you can limit your top speed all the way towards the hair. You're gonna go full speed all the way towards the tortoise. It's gonna slow it down. You've got buzzer buttons for the horn buzzer and a light button here to turn the light off and on. So let me show you the light here really quick and then we're gonna wrap this video up. So hopefully you'll stick around and subscribe because we are going to have an awesome in-depth review video let's check out the back are there lights on the back chuck absolutely all right we've got lights on the back too awesome so again folks this is just going to be the unboxing and assembly video that's it we've unboxed we've assembled we've conquered i'm going to wrap this video up now if you want to see the in-depth review video you're going to want to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I promise you, you're not going to want to miss out on it. You could also just click right there in the top right hand corner and it's going to take you to the playlist for this product where we have a lot of different videos. You're going to see what it's like to perform off road. We're going to torture test it. We're going to go fishing, grocery shopping, you name it. It's an awesome scooter, super dependable, made by the most trusted name brand in the business, guys. So again, this is the companion HD in the four wheel configuration. You can get it in a three wheel. We have videos for that one as well. Um, and I do want to tell you about our giveaway as promised. You could win a free mobility scooter like this one or a power wheelchair like these behind me. We give away scooters, power wheelchairs once a month. It's just a way for us to give back in exchange for the support that we get from you, our loyal audience and viewers. Thank you so much. By the way, we couldn't do it without you. So it's real easy, folks. If you want to be part of that monthly giveaway, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. You can comment anything you want. You could say, hey, your video sucks. I hate it. You're in. You could say, I love the video. You can ask a question. We respond to all questions within one business day. So what are you waiting for? You're already here. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and we will reply to you. You could be that next lucky winner, folks. Again, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day.